Hey guys, Crewman here, and as you guys know, I've been mining Dynex with about 90 to 95 percent of my farm. Now, this isn't me giving a vote of confidence to the project so much as it, as it is understanding that it's profitable and taking advantage of that profitability to help my situation. So currently, I am mining Dynex with the following NVIDIA GPUs, the 3070 Ti, the 3070, 3060 Ti, and the following AMD GPUs, the 6900 XT, the 6800 XT, and the 6700 XT, along with the BC160. And I have some other GPUs lying around, namely 3080s, 3060s, uh, a 90HX, a 5600 XT, and an RX 580. So let's see if any of them are worth turning on to Dynex. So a few disclaimers. This is assuming Dynex is at $1.14, which is currently seven cents under its all-time high, which is the price uh, that I am the price of Dynex as of this filming. I am using a simple power meter for my wall, as I don't have an Elmore Labs PDU on my list of things to pick up shortly. Uh, Dynex power uses tends to jump, so I'm just picking a number that I get at the wall, like the average of, of the jumps, and I'm going with it. Uh, I'll be using the calculator at hashrate.no to manually enter the data in. I am using a power rate of 11 cents kilowatt hours because that's where I am quote, that's where I'm floating at right now based on how much power I'm using and I am not taking into account zill profits this is just me wanting to see what the GPU is making while mining Dynex and finally uh, remember guys my silicon isn't the same as yours this is all silicon lottery so I might have a bad bin GPU and you might have an amazing one these numbers are just a guide to see if it's even worth looking into mining with these GPUs. All right, let's start with the, RT, uh, the RTX 3080. Uh, the model I'm using is an EVGA RTX 3080. It's getting 600 or 6,643 kilohash at 141 watts of the software, 158 watts of the wall. So if you use our hash rate.no calculator, we're losing two cents at the software, six cents at the wall. Uh, so unless your power rate is say 10 cents or less, I do not think it is worth mining with a 3080 on Dynex right now, although it is close. Now, on to the 90HX. So these things are basically just less efficient 3080s or more efficient depending on how you look at it. I'm getting 6.1. Uh, zero kilohash at 143 watts on the software, 166 watts at the wall. So it's negative five cents on the software and 11 cent, negative 11 cents at the wall. There's always a long shot for this thing to mine Dynex, and I wouldn't bother. Back to the rack it goes for me. So let's move on to the 3060. So under the 3060, it's a Zotac 3060. I'm getting 3.17 uh, kilohash. Uh, 50 watts at the wall, 71 watts at the software. I swear something is up with how my power meter is reading NVIDIA GPUs because they should be identical to the wall and the software and there's like a 20-ish watt difference. I don't know what's going on, but this is why I'm showing you both the power at the wall and the power at the software. Uh, so we show the software, I'm showing a three cent profit and then at the power we show a two cent loss. So I think this is enough for me to justify turning my three 3060s on, especially since we can dual mine Zill with them. Now let's move on to my one and only Turing GPU, the 2080 Ti. So this one bounces around a bit more than other GPUs I have tested. So let's go with about 116 watts of the software, and it's bouncing between 108 uh, and 121. And then let's go with about 128 watts of the wall. At power, it makes two cents, and at the wall, it loses one cent. So I am going to turn this one back on, and I'll probably be putting this one on a rig with my three 3060s. So on to AMG, AMD GPUs. I don't have that many. I really only have two that I use for content pieces that are not mining right now. Um, so they should be interesting ones as they represent the Polaris and Navi generations. So let's start with the 5600 XT. So two things with my 5600 XT. It has a 5700 BIOS flashed on it for boosted gaming performance as I use this card for other benchmark and content videos. Uh, so after a bit of tweaking, I was able to get uh, 3.1 kilohash at 49 watts for a 4 cent profit. 
Now, if I go off the wall reading, which was 80 cents or 80 watts, it shows a four cent loss. As I know, AMD is off when it comes to power readings at the software. Um, I tend to believe the wall a little bit more than I do NVIDIA, which is usually pretty accurate in Hive. But this one is close, but I think I will be leaving it off. I know you can get more um, higher settings. You can get about four-ish kilohash if you really push the power, but that will just up the power in the wall as well. So I think, like I said, this one is a no-go for me, but it was a little bit closer than I thought. Now let's move on to the 580. So with the 580s, you all know that I refuse to let what is already dead die again. You should not be mining on these things. They are not profitable on anything. I will stand by that even if the numbers prove me wrong. So let's dig up my 588 gig to see what it looks like. Insert SpongeBob voice here. And I spent 45 minutes trying to get this thing to mine. And for some reason, I couldn't get it close to the hash rate dot no numbers. I was even working with the SRB dev. I have no idea why. So all you got to do is just scroll down to their numbers. And you can see that SR, um, hash rate dot no's numbers, which are usually off, are showing a six cent loss. So I don't even bother mining with these things. As I'm sure if I could get mine properly working, I would show it would be a higher uh, loss than that. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the results are basically telling me to turn on my 3060s and my 2080 Ti and leave the rest off. Though I admit the 3080s are closer than I thought. Same with the 5600 XTs. I think if you have a lower power rate, um, power cost to me, like, I don't know, let's say eight, nine cents, I would maybe consider turning those two on. And I would just leave the 90HX off as it doesn't belong mining Dynex. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.